Hi, I'm David Nagel. I'd like to welcome you to my three-part video plan, Blind Spot Breakthrough. If you feel stuck, if you feel out of options, if you feel like you've got a block, I want you to take a deep breath and allow me to lead you through this plan to your Blind Spot Breakthrough. It doesn't take luck to uplevel your life, only your desire to grow, and I'm about to show you how. Let me ask you a question. What would you do if your annual income suddenly, just like that, became your monthly income overnight? What would change in your life? You know, I've helped thousands of people all over the world actually make that change, but the first thing I had to do was to make that change myself, and I wanna show you how I did that. In order to make that change, I had to break through a blind spot that eluded me for years. My scenario, was that I was working six and a half days a week on a dock driving a forklift in miserable weather most of the time, and I was making $20,000 a year, and I was stuck. I could not break past the $20,000 a year mark. I would sit down and try to figure out all different ways that I could do this, that I could get past $20,000 a year. How to get there absolutely eluded me. I thought to myself, something is wrong because the natural course of how this should actually work seems to not be working in my situation. And here's what I mean by that. I was looking at logically, how can I change my situation? My situation was, I was a high school dropout, I was married, I had two children, I had more responsibility than I could actually take care of in my life to be responsible for, and I was financially stuck because of the decisions that I had made. It seemed like I needed more money to get out of the situation so that I could go to school, and I needed more time to be able to do that, and I didn't have either one. So here I am, sitting in a truck, on a dock, trying to figure out how do I actually change the situation and nothing would come to my mind. I would sit down with a calculator and a pen and try to figure out how is it that I could actually break past this, go from 20,000 to say maybe 40,000. Because I thought, you know, if I could get to $40,000, absolutely everything would change. But it seemed like with the raises that I was getting and the time that it would take to actually accomplish that, I couldn't get there in a reasonable amount of time. It would have taken another 20 years to actually get there. And I became depressed, I became agitated. I was really frustrated with my situation, trying to figure out how do I go from one place to another? Actually, what I didn't realize at the time was I had a blind spot. I had a huge blind spot. What I didn't realize in the moment was that there was a way for me to change my income so dramatically that it would seem incomprehensible to most people. And here's what happened. For two years, there existed an opportunity around me to go from $20,000 to $62,000 virtually overnight, but I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it comprehensively. I couldn't see it with my eyes. I couldn't hear it with my ears. It wasn't in my understanding that it existed around me, but what was in my understanding around me was the problem that I had. I became so fixated and so focused on the problem and so convinced that I could not get out of that situation that I couldn't see an opportunity that was virtually around me talking to me twice a week. What I want to show you is how I got out of that blind spot, how I literally broke through it and completely changed my income. In one month, I went from 20,000 a year to 62,000 a year, and following the exact same formula, I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing. From 20,000 to 62,000, then I turned that into a monthly income, and then I took it over a million, and we've never gone back. In fact, we've helped thousands of people all over the world do the exact same thing, and you're the next one that we're gonna show. So here's what I want you to consider first off. Your problem, your blind spot, is probably a generational problem. Now here's what I mean by that. I actually call this the J curve, and you'll see why, because it looks just like a J. <clears throat> now I want you to think about something. Somewhere back in your history, in your family lineage, 
problems started way back when. And those problems literally became belief systems. Now I want you to think, if your great-grandparents had experienced some misfortune in their life, and just like me, they looked at that, they focused on that misfortune, they didn't understand it, they couldn't see a way out of it, what would invariably happen is they would create a belief system around that problem. That problem in and of itself, all the circumstances around that problem, all the people around that problem, all the conclusions of that problem would become a belief for them. Now once that's a belief, what they then do is pass it down to the next generation that comes along here. We're not to you yet. We're still maybe, you know, two, three grandparents away before we get to you. These grandparents don't even, they're not even aware of this problem. All they're aware of is the belief about the problem that was passed down to them. So they accept it as being true. They don't think to themselves that there's a different way or that there could be a different way or that there should be a different way. They don't even want there to be a different way. They just accept it as being true. So this set of grandparents then creates a different set of problems because of this belief problem right here. Now, what do I mean by a different set of problems? Well, this belief, if it was formed out of a series of issues or problems that were created in this set of grandparents' lives, are dysfunctional in nature meaning that anything that is dysfunctional or dying or decaying must continually move in a downward force until something changes that force and actually causes it to go in an upward direction. But if nobody realizes that they're heading in a downward direction, nobody actually tries to change it. So the problem then continues to the next generation. The belief system from this set of grandparents gets handed down here. But the problem is that it's getting worse. The ideas the, and the circumstances and the situations are progressively getting worse with each progressive generation. So this continues to go down and down and down. Now where do you fall in the mix? Well, you fall in the mix right here. This is where you are. This is where I was. Now you might say, how does David know that I'm here? Because you're listening and you're watching this video right now. You wouldn't be watching this video if you weren't here. That means you're ready to take this downward progression of a blind spot that has probably been going on for generations in your family lineage and actually turn it around for a big win in your life. And that's what I want to show you how to do. Now I want you to think, why are you listening to this right now? What problem do you currently have in your life? The great news is we don't need to know where it came from. We just know that it's there. We know that we're actually experiencing it and probably has a lot to do with finances. Now, why would I say that? Because finances touch every area of your life. There is no area of your life that money does not touch. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, that's not true. Oh, that's fine, you don't have to believe it, but I would like you to take 24 hours and actually think about it. You show me an area where money does not play a role in some decision that you have to make. It plays an enormous role in almost every decision that every person has to make, and we're actually taught to make those decisions based on information and belief systems that have been handed down generation after generation after generation after generation until they get to you. Now the issue is that when it gets to us, we are actually looking at it as being true. All the ideas that we have about money, the ideas that we have about work, the ideas that we have about business, how to spend money, how to invest money, how to make money, what to do with money, what is money, we believe are true. We don't even consider them because they've been handed down for so many years till they actually get to us. But you know something? We know something's wrong. We know something deep in our heart of hearts. We know something is actually not right. Yet, we can't seem to figure out what it is. So our focus turns to the problem. 
and our focus turns to the circumstances of the problem as being the actual problem, and they have nothing to do with the problem. You see, that's where my blind spots started to originate. I was looking at the circumstantial evidence around my problem. And it all pointed to nothing more than what I had been taught for generation after generation after generation after generation. How many people in your family before you actually broke through to be financially free in their life? Chances are, it's probably not many. And if they are, were there dysfunctional issues going on around the money? Because even if a person breaks through financially, but they have dysfunctional issues around the money, then those beliefs are passed down, and we could end up with great big problems when it comes to money in our life. But you don't have to stay there, and here's why. You're probably hearing something that either you have or have not heard before, but you're hearing it with a different set of ears. You're hearing it with an ear of understanding that you've probably never heard before because you want to hear something different or you wouldn't be here. You want to hear what the truth is that will allow you to break free from your situation so that you can begin an upward progression in your life and actually become financially free. So that you can turn your annual income into a monthly income and you could do it in less time and with less effort and while you're doing what it is that you love to do. But you have to understand the process of a blind spot if you're gonna break through because it has a million different minefields. There's all different ways that you can go with this and they all lead to dead end roads. In scripture it says, straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leads unto life and few there be who find it. Now a lot of people look at that and they say, why is that? Why is it so narrow to win? Because in order to win, you have to follow the laws of life. And the laws of life are that for human beings, as they are for animals, as they are for minerals, as they are for money. Nothing escapes the law. Now, the law is two things. It is either going down, which is dying, or it is going up, which is living. Now, we call this more life. If you want to change this scenario in your life, you have to apply the financial law of more life to your life. And it will totally break you free because what it allows you to do is to see something that's there that you've never seen before. You see, for me to break through my blind spot, I had to be able to see an opportunity that existed in front of me that I could not see. Now you might be thinking to yourself, but if I can't see it, it's probably not there. I know, right? I mean, doesn't that sound crazy? You would think you know, you're an intelligent person. If an opportunity to actually turn your annual income into a monthly income existed, that you would actually see it. Not if you're programmed not to see it. And remember, that happened way back here, four, five, six, seven generations ago. That's when it happened. And it progressed down, 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 down until it got to you where you said, I'm not tolerating this anymore. Something has to change. There must be something different for me to actually accomplish or do in my life because I want to be more and I want to actually have more. So we have to understand how the more life principle actually falls into changing where you are in the J-curve. Here's the thing. You're not going to go down much further. You really won't because there's no place else to go. The law of life says it has to start to turn and go up. So if you're thinking to yourself, this is really interesting. I'm actually kind of finding this fascinating. You're already starting to curve on the curve. You're starting to come back up yourself. You're here. And with every time you start to think a new thought that is out of this and out of the belief system, that your grandparents generated, you actually start to progressively move up this curve. Now, when you get to about here, right here in the curve, is when you can actually begin to see the opportunity that exists around you. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Because there is a little known law that when you apply this law to your life, it will allow you to see the opportunity that exists around you that will allow you to change your income virtually overnight. But before we get there, I want to share something with you that will help you understand this a little bit more.
You know, I've had the good fortune of having many mentors in my life, some of the most brilliant thinkers on the planet when it comes to personal development and earning a lot of money and business. And my mentor's mentor's mentor was a man by the name of Dr. Thurman Fleet. And in 1934, he created something called the stick person. Now, he created this to help people understand how our mind actually works for the very sake that we could actually break through any blind spot that we could become aware of. Because literally, our life is riddled with blind spots. Whenever we have a problem, for instance, that we can't seem to change in our life, it's because we have a blind spot. There's actually something that we're resisting in what we're thinking and how we're feeling and what it is that we're doing that if we understood it would allow us to change it in a second. So I want to explain how this works briefly so that you have an understanding and then if you want to understand more, you can actually study deeper into it, right? But the idea is basically this, it's very simple, that there's three parts to ourself. We're thinking, we're emotional, and we have a physical body where we take actions. But these three pieces of ourself operate in harmony with very strict laws. And when we understand those laws, it really eliminates a lot of the confusion that takes place in our thinking mind. It allows us to understand how to process ourselves emotionally so that we can take the correct actions in our life with and through our body. So to understand it, we have to understand that the top part of the stick person is actually the conscious mind. That is where we think. It operates by the law of conscious thought. It operates by reason. It operates by logic. It is where we actually can evaluate something. We all do that. All the thinking takes place in the conscious mind. The subconscious mind, however, operates vastly differently. It is also known as the emotional mind or the feeling mind. Now, what's different about the subconscious mind is that it cannot think. It does not have the ability to reason like the conscious mind does. So anything that is stored in the subconscious mind must be expressed with and through the only medium that it has, which is the physical body. And it doesn't have the ability to say, I'm gonna express this, I'm gonna express that. It just expresses it. That's exactly what it does. So if you remember, when we were looking at the other sheet with the J curve, we said that many generations ago, your family created a belief system around money. That belief system is stored in the subconscious mind. Now, that belief system, without any effort on your part, begins to express itself with and through this great body of yours. It expresses itself in two places. It causes you to think thoughts that you think. So a lot of times we think we're thinking but we're really not thinking. What we're doing is regurgitating ideas that are associated with the belief system and then a sub-value system that's created out of the belief system, which actually helps support the belief system, and then we think thoughts around that belief system. And you know the damnedest thing is we think they're right. All the time we think they're right. People have the biggest issue with being right in the world more than anything else. I'll give you something to think about. You think about all the problems in the world, why do we have so many problems when actually it seems so easy to create so many solutions? Because people have the need to be right because they believe that their belief system's right and yours is wrong. This belief system then expresses itself in how we feel, which is the emotional mind. So we think thoughts and then we feel according to those thoughts. Then those feelings are expressed with and through the body in the form of actions. Now here's something that's really cool. Outside of the physical body, we have our results, we have our circumstances, we have our environment, and we have our money. Sometimes it's the lack of money. Either way, it's there. Now, those results, circumstances, environment, and money are being created by the belief system that we have about each one of these things. The belief system is causing this to appear in our life. Then we see with our eyes this situation. We see our results, we see our circumstances, we see our environment, and we see our money situation or our financial situation. That is just a bed of information that is then fed back to the eyes into the thinking mind, 
which reinforces the feelings that we have about what we thought about in the first place, which usually doesn't make us feel very well. Because if we have a blind spot, if there's a problem that we can't seem to change, we usually don't feel good about it. Remember I said when I was on the dock, I was frustrated, I was angry, I didn't know how to change it, because my eyes kept telling me the story of what my experience was. My experience confirmed to me over and over and over and over again that my world was filled with this word, lack. I had no time, I had no money, I had no opportunities, I had no friends, I had no this, I had no that, I had no the other. How many times has your life, your eyes, confirmed the story of lack in your life? Think about what you don't have right now. You may not have enough money. You may not have enough opportunity. You may not think you have enough time, enough resources. What don't you have right now? That idea will show up in your mind. Ask yourself, how do you feel about it? And what does that feeling cause you to think? In many cases, it causes people to lose hope. It causes people to lose hope because they can't see beyond what their experience is telling them they're seeing. Do you know why this is? Because they don't understand that the law dictates that if we're experiencing anything in lack, the polar opposite to that is abundance. Abundance. The polar opposite to lack is abundance. Now I want you to think about something. You take and hold up Pick up something, wherever you are, a pencil, a pen, it doesn't matter what it is, a sheet of paper. And if you hold it in front of you, you realize it is a whole thing. It's not a partial. I'm not holding half of a marker here. I'm holding a whole marker. Well, this marker has a left side and a right side to it. You can't have the left without the right. Both must exist for it to be a marker. If you have a problem, two sides must exist the problem and the solution, otherwise you can't have the problem, you see? Now, what is the great hope that comes out of that? The great hope that comes out of it is that once we begin to see with an inner eye of understanding, in our heart, something different, then we will see with our eyes outer the abundance that lies around us. And when we do that, we have the possibility to change any situation. And it literally, in that moment, the idea of taking your annual income to a monthly income becomes a possibility. Now, here's what I want you to go and do tonight. Go and take a really close look at what you don't have. What would you do if you could change your annual income to a monthly income just like that? What would change in your life? Would you like to do that? I think you probably would. I think that it would make a world of difference in what's actually going on in your life right now. So tonight, think to yourself, what would happen if that actually happened? How would your life change? And then come back tomorrow, and on video two, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that.